will share his experience today with you, sir. Is Sri Anish R. from the Indian Institute of Mass Communication, Delhi. And sir, and all participants of the conference, a very good afternoon to all of you. On behalf of Indian Information Service, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, and Indian Institute of Mass Communication, I would like to extend our deepest gratitude for providing us with this wonderful opportunity. Sir, I would like to bring to your kind attention that we have about 21 development journalist professionals from 13 countries and students of mass communication attending this conference. Sir, as part of our induction training, we had a lecture series on nationalism, and the main theme that came out of it was development and development alone is the path to guide, to bring the misguided youth of a nation to the mainstream. This idea was further cemented as we had the first hand experience of visiting an erstwhile Naxal affected area of Lalgad in West Midnapur district as well as our forays into northeast of India. Schemes like Rural Livelihood College in Buster, youth development through sports in northeast and proactive participation of youth in decision making and implementation in West Midnapur has been instrumental in bringing about a change in these areas. So these schemes are, are shining examples that can be emulated elsewhere. For any process of development to even take shape, good communication channels are absolutely imperative. Any a slight miscommunication or even a disconnect between the youth and the mass would bring about an impediment to the entire process. And that is where the role of communicators becomes very important. So, this room is filled with the future communicators of our nation. From young, bright Indian Information Service officers to energetic, budding journalists to aspiring media professionals. Young communicators with a mandate to bring the dreams, aspir aspirations and desires of millions of young people to the forefront. Young communicators with a mandate to create an informed citizenry and empowering and bringing, ensuring that the youth will participate in the task of nation building. So that is what our responsibility is. Responsibility to be truthful, to be honest, to be transparent and service oriented. And together, I'm sure we can all work together to making our great nation help achieve the ideals of the Constitution of India. Thank you, sir.